my tire explodes. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. I want you guys to know something about near death experiences. Me we soy. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Soy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a mukbang with Soy. Once again, if you're oh my god, I literally just had a near death experience. So that's why we're doing this mukbang. As you can tell, we're eating very typical food. It's just uh, ten piece chicken nuggets. I didn't even get twenty. I just got ten. And then I got all the sauces because life is too short. And I almost died today. So literally 30 minutes before this mukbang, on my way here, I had a near-death experience. My tire exploded. Hear me out. This is like a story time mukbang, so you can watch the rest of it. I'm gonna let you know now. I'm gonna have receipts. Because unlike other story time people or people that like have stories or like have to tell you things, like there's never receipts. You know what I mean? So we're gonna be eating McDonald's today. Uh, 10 piece chicken nuggets. Got all the sauces because... Like I mentioned, life is too freaking short. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. <sighs> to not get all the sauces. Yes, I'm filming in my restroom. And if you don't know why, watch the previous videos. Anyways, we're gonna go get into it. By the way, I got the coffee from McDonald's. It's like literally one of my favorite things, the hazelnut coffee. Okay, so back to this experience that literally just happened 30 minutes ago on the way home. Mmm. Yes, sir. That is some good coffee. Okay. Uh, so on the way home. Actually, let me preface everything. Today was a very rainy day in Southern California. Like, I feel like it was the first time it rained in like months. Which is great because we need rain. But not great because I was like, well, I have to go return my car. And I have to get a new car. My lease was up. And I was like, okay, well, I was have to go to Toyota today get a new car raining really hard so i kind of delayed it just a little bit here are the sauces so came to the dealership around three got the car around seven had to pay more because of some damages to the previous car which is my fault but i'm gonna drive safe this time don't you worry and um signature sauce hmm, that's different and i got like i had a bad feeling this morning like when i woke up i just had a feeling that today was not gonna be a bad day but like not gonna be a great day and as the day progressed, it just, it didn't get worse, but I just got more like apathetic towards the day. You know that feeling when you're just like, man, I'm just so tired. I just want to go home. Anyways, so that basically happened. Got the car, uh, met up with Vivi, went to Disneyland for a little bit. That's the fun part, you know, like just hanging out at Disneyland, did some drawings, you know, had a great time. Just girls being girls, hanging out with Anna and Elsa and got super excited. Then I was like, okay, well, I got to go home. It's like 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, whatever. And I got to home, start driving. Less than 70 miles into the drive, my tire explodes. Showing you guys how freaking crazy it is because it hasn't even hit. Lit literally, you can see less than 70 miles. It's actually like 35 miles. And oh my god. Mind you, literally, one of my biggest fears in life is a flat tire. Because mostly because I don't know how to change it, but B, also because it's just dangerous thing right like you're driving and out of nowhere your flyer your fire your tire just blows out that's like really scary my tire didn't just blow out it literally was shredded like there was fumes coming from it like i have footage of when it was like still hot and you can see that the rubber was just like rubbing on the cement i don't know if this is the air pressure or because of like the weather or whatever it was Oh boy, did that scare me. And the funny thing is, I was like, I was swerving a little bit and then I moved to the right of the road, right? Of this, the, like the 101, which is like a really big freeway in Los Angeles. Really scary. <laughs> swerving in the rain with your car, not very fun. So I was just stuck on the side of the street. Thank goodness it it's a brand new car. So like the, the warranty on it is still pretty good. And they were like, okay, we'll get someone there. This tow truck's on the road. Oh, Great, excited. Please come and save. Maybe like 10 minutes into me waiting, cops come. <laughs> really scary moment when two cops pop up on both sides of your car and you don't even know how to pull the window down. I was just like clicking, clicking, don't know how to do it. He op Ooh, that is good, what is that? Ooh, the spicy hot mustard is a little bit sweet, but mostly spicy and boy is it good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So two cops come. I have footage. I'm gonna insert, insert it. So just underneath? Yeah. So? Yeah, perfect. Only You're... 35 miles. I right? know. Please go. Excuse me, miss. Flat tire? And I was like, 
I like looked at them and I was like, be honest, I'm tired. Like my tire literally exploded. Well, you're on the you're on the, on the freeway. It's very dangerous. We have to move you. And I was like, I was like so stressed because in my mind I was like, wow, does he not see the damage that I see to the car? Like if you see it, it was like basically rubbing on the cement and grinding. I basically like, mm, I can't do that. No sir, no sir, can I do? I was like, no, no, we really need you to move because if it starts raining again, the car's gonna swerve, and the cars are gonna swerve out, and they're gonna hit you, and this. And I was like, I was like, you know what? I'll take my chances. He was like, no, you can't. And obviously he's the police, so I had to listen to him. So he was like, do you mind if I drove your car? I was like, okay, whatever. Move to the other side. He hops in and he starts making jokes. Really nice police officer. Really liked him a lot. But his jokes, I couldn't tell if he was serious or not. He was like, I was like trying to explain to him the situation. I'm like, I literally just got this car like 77 miles ago. You see an odometer? Odometer? It literally says 77 miles. He's like, yeah. yeah the tires look pretty good. The party looks pretty good. And I was like, bro, it's a new car. Like, yeah, it's really good. Um, so. He keeps backing it up like. Let's see. Curb still there. Is the curb gone? Down the freeway. Down to like the ramp exit. Oh, I was so scared. And they're like, you finish? Need more jokes. Oh, where are you going? Oh, where are you going there? Is that where you're, where you're moving to? I was like, why do you keep asking me these questions? I don't know if it's like train for police officers to like have things to talk about with people, but it really made me nervous. I'm just like, number two thing I'm afraid of, police officers. They were really nice though. They waited for me while the tow truck guy came. Tow truck drive. He was like, I'm five minutes away. I was like, oh, exciting. But this is my fault. I don't know how you can tell something is northbound or southbound. So I was in the south and I thought that I was going north. But the police officer said I was going south. So I gave him wrong information. So the police officer had to talk to him. He was like, can I talk to the police officer? Which made me feel a certain way. Because I can't tell my voice sounds more feminine. Actually, no. It isn't anything about gender. I literally think it's because I, I literally had no idea where we were. I had to drop a pin to some number. Drop them a pin. Found us, bit of bing, bit of boom. Great. Do you think they're gonna tow me while I'm in the car? Change the tire, then he had knocked it in my trunk. But, okay. I want you guys to know something about near death experiences. The tire just exploded, so I could have died. Literally, could have died. Wow. Literally, I think I feel more alive now than I ever have because my will to live is even stronger. It was so strong that I had to go get McDonald's. Mm. By the way, if you guys don't know, I'm doing, uh, we have to know you're watching, 25 days of this like filming thing too. I asked people like suggestions on what I should eat or talk about. And this one was actually requested by, let me find her name. Ran E A Quail. Quail? I'm really bad at pronouncing it. If, next time if you can add pronunciations for your names, it would help me because i don't want to get it wrong you know i'm really thankful that you guys like follow me and give me suggestions and stuff and i asked everyone like what i should talk about and she said mcdonald's and first day of school first day of high school so i'm gonna talk about first day of high school in another mukbang maybe thank you so much for you know submitting uh, the idea of eating mcdonald's because that's what i was looking forward to today so for survival meals any mcdonald's but i'm like you know no the one thing about this is maybe like wow like I had such like a not a negative view about death, but like I like I didn't tell a lot of people this, but like around like a couple months ago I was feeling like pretty like unhappy. Just like I felt like I had no purpose and stuff and like one of the things that really struck out to me was that my not my will to live, but like how I felt about living was just like kind of warped. And I just had the feeling that like, okay, like if something happened to me, like I would just be okay with it. Well, but today after experiencing what happened, I was just like, wow, I really want to live more. I want to do more. I want to create more. And I, really, I feel like it was experience that God made me 
like wanted me to have you know like like without it I feel like I would be just like I think I'd be sad again I mean, I'm always sad but my will to live has definitely been like shifted because of that experience I was like swerving on the street in a big freeway yeah I still was able to live like I should be so grateful to have my life right now I am grateful really grateful and that's why I'm sharing this with you guys because I feel like sometimes like like day to day everything just seems so like like what is it minor and small and like things add up you know and you feel like oh like small situations become bigger situations and I have a lot of stress going on right now in my life the stress in everything I'm doing stress in my mind thinking about the future and then I never like think like oh like how great it is that I'm able to experience the things I get to experience, you know, being able to live and be able to like eat McDonald's and get all the sauces and like talk to you guys, just go to, um, you know, go to Disneyland, like stuff like that is like, not privilege. It's like, so I feel like sometimes it's easy to think of life as like something that like is forced upon you, but it honestly is like, a privilege to be alive like we should treat it as a privilege and so i'm just really thankful it happened thankful that i, I just don't know what's gonna happen with the tire that's like really bad i'm sure you guys pictures but like whew. she is busted how does that even happen you know like having tires just blow out and explode Nothing scarier, nothing scarier. Literally nothing scarier than my life. But yeah, if you're feeling like down or sad or like unhappy with life, just know that like, at the end of the day, like there's a lot of people rooting for you, but above all, you should be rooting for yourself, you know, like be thankful that you have the opportunity to breathe, be thankful that you have the opportunity to do how police officers help you be thankful that you have to have a new like i had a new car like everything's just good not bad but good it's really easy to think like oh my god i just i just bought a new car i just got a tire and i have to pay for this but like i'm really thankful for being alive and i think like at the end of the day it's all about mentality shift you know it's your choice how you can react to situations also your choice to determine like how it's how it makes you feel so I think if you think of everything as a choice, it makes life a little bit easier, you know? Because you are you feel less obliged like you had to do something. It's a choice. It was my choice to get my dentist today. Why? I only ate a bun meat today. I was starving. I could have, like, gone home. Oh, no, because I had flat hair. I feel tired. I need to stop doing that smacking thing when I eat. I don't know how to stop. It's, when food is so delicious, I can't stop smacking. That's why I thought it was so hard to do ASMR because, like, I feel like I smack way too much for people to enjoy, dude. Oh, man, chicken nuggets are so good. I forgot how good McDonald's chicken nuggets are. But, um, I guess it's, like, not as dramatic now that I tell it on camera, but I want to share that story with you guys. If you guys like it, make sure to hit a big thumbs up. But if you have any experiences in life that made you like, you know, really change your mindset about what you're doing or how you're doing or like was a good catalyst, feel free to share it in the comments. Like I'd love to read about it. I'd love to read about what helped you, how it helped you. Like another experience that made me appreciate life was when my mom got breast cancer because I felt like that was like a real like whoa like you shouldn't be rude to your parents you should always take care of your parents you should listen to them people at a phone call because you might not have the opportunity anymore so i think those experiences are really good for like personal growth and just like growth in general and another privilege not everyone gets that not anybody not everybody gets the opportunity to struggle so that they can like show their strength so if you struggled that's good on you bro i feel like i struggled so much <sighs> 
And I don't think I would trade any of it. Just because at the time it might have been harsh and it might have been hard. But I don't think I'd be the person I am today if I didn't have those struggles. Anyways, um, thank you again for submitting this mukbang idea. If you guys have any mukbang ideas, leave a comment down below on what I should eat next or what I should talk about next. And uh, enjoy the next few episodes of Vlogmas. I don't really know what's going up. Like, <laughs> didn't expect this to happen. Didn't expect, expect to do this mukbang, but had to because I almost died. So, <sighs> anyways, um, thanks for watching this video, guys. You know the drill. Love you always. Bye.